Brian Mastery in depth tonight on how a community has never lost sight of its heritage. Besides sharing the traditions of food and music and culture, it has also turned into a life lesson for troubled teenagers. Do it quick. With bad weather rolling in, it's critical to get the flags off Main Street. We want to get them down before it rains. We don't leave them up through storms because they might get blown out. For the overseas visitors doing the legwork, it's a lesson in respect. Not get uh, wet and dirty. They're from Denmark. Oh, come a lot of rain. And thunder. That's their flag next to ours. I'm impressed by how they keep up these, uh, this uh, Danish heritage. Elkhorn, Iowa, a town of 600, a place where you can't miss the 168-year-old windmill from Denmark. It's sometimes been viewed as a better keeper of Danish traditions than the 5 million Danes living in Denmark. To think uh, the Danish people and the American uh, have so much together. The young people traveled to the Midwest this weekend for the community's annual festival. Yeah, and it's hot. Not cold Denmark. <laughs> Not cold as Denmark. <laughs> They made traditional sausage at a butcher, rode in an American muscle car, stopped at the local cemetery for Memorial Day. They fished. They danced. This is about, you know, breaking uh, bad patterns and uh, a change of habits. The students go to an alternative school in Denmark. The trip is designed to help them make better choices in life. And they need to trust. Uh, adult people. So you're looking forward to that? Yeah. And who better to learn from than a community leader? I made as many bad choices as you could make when I was that age. No parades in Denmark? No parade in Denmark. Really? You don't always get that kind of straight talk from a mayor. But I've also been through a lot of the things that they've been through. So I can speak to them honestly and openly and it's not just a teacher or, a, or a social worker telling them that. It's somebody that's been through it. We have riding to stand over Facebook a long time. Yeah. And yeah, I, I'm very glad to see him. If you guys folk dance, I'll folk dance. I can just talk to them, and they don't judge me, and I don't judge them. So it's a good, good combination. A special friendship formed 5,000 miles apart. Even Denmark's prime minister showed his appreciation, signing a picture for Mayor Stan Jens. This guy did a lot of the things I've done, made a lot of the bad choices that I did, and yet he's still the mayor of our Danish town in the middle of Iowa, you know? And so hopefully, hopefully it gives them a little bit of hope that, hey, you know, it can turn out good, but you got to make those decisions. You got to work for it. A small town with one foot firmly placed in history and tradition. Yeah. What's your name? Mass. Matias. With the other pointed towards the future. Yeah. In Elkhorn, Iowa, with photographer Jim Hinchick, I'm Brian Master reporting WWT6 News. Thank you. Here's another point to show the community isn't stuck in the past. Seven years ago, Elkhorn, Iowa became the first place between Denver and Chicago to install electric car charging stations. The visitors head back to Denmark tomorrow.